So recently there was a benchmark leak of the Galaxy Note 20 Plus that suggested we would see an overclocked version of the Snapdragon 865 Plus with over 3 GHz of clock speed. Highest clock speed we have right now is the Snapdragon 855 Plus that runs at 2.96 GHz. So everyone was excited that we would get a new processor for the Galaxy Note 20 that should somewhat help differentiate it from the Galaxy S20 Sousa phones but it looks like the new Snapdragon processor is not happening the Qualcomm is still officially silent on the Snapdragon 865 plus case land CDN pulls the head of marketing of Miso which is a tiny smartphone company has just spoken about this topic according to him Qualcomm has no intention to manufacture a Snapdragon 865 plus variant this year which could disappoint some tech enthusiasts Miso is a Qualcomm partner and uses his products so it can be assumed that Ryan should be well informed about the further plans of Qualcomm don't think we have any reason to not believe him anyway I guess. This is good news for the Exodus users because there's already around 10 to 20 percent difference between the Snapdragon 865 annexing us 990 and if Qualcomm releases 865 plus this year then the difference will only widen and will test the accident was users even more also there was a report a few days ago that Samsung is making a 5mm Exodus chipset for Google for use in Pixel phones and other devices and it was mentioned that they would release this new chipset later this year but only part of that was true I mean we have more information with code names to suggest Samsung and Google are indeed working together to create a exodus in those chips but it won't launch this year information suggests we could see this happen next year this chipset will be built on 5 nanometers process and will use our install course instead of mongoose course which were one of the biggest reasons for the exodus processor phones to have interior battery life additionally Samsung has even partnered with AMD to bring radio on GPUs was chipset means. Exodus processor should perform on par or even better than the Snapdragon processors we'll see next year how all of this is going to turn out so we all know at this point that Exodus processors are inferior to the Snapdragon in both CPU as well as GPU and today we have another video just to showcase that one birthday at a speed test comparison between the Exynos versus Snapdragon variants of the Galaxy Note 20 and as you can see there is clearly a difference here 8 seconds to be exact which is kind of an improvement compared to last year and you will notice the difference in real life but still these two are the same devices and the difference should be there to begin work racially when users are paying the exact same prices or even more in some cases to the examiner's variants I hope we don't get to see this next year with the new Exodus chipsets with a possible AMD graphics let me know what you think about this down in the comment below thanks and see you on my next video